Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Salt and Pepper at Home with Atilio. And again, we're continuing with the little antipastos here. This is uh, a bit of a uh, little bit of work, but it's a nice antipasto. It's worth it, as I say, along with your other hors d'oeuvres or uh, appetizers, as you would like to call them. This will be a delicious one too. Now, I'm using. Uh, I'm going to show you the ingredients. I'm just going to put these babies aside. I'll show you why I have these guys here. And the ingredients go. I don't want to make it too complicated. As I say, you can always download it later, all right? There is uh, a orange pepper, which I don't know if you'll be able to get in your part of the, the world. I hope you can. And there is uh, a red pepper. And by grace of God, I also had a green pepper, but I did not keep it there. I roasted it there. So this was a green pepper. And we have lime. We have some uh, raw garlic, OK? And we have some vinegar cured garlic. Don't get scared by the color. This is a miracle. This thing here is a secret. My dad used to, to do it. I don't know where he learned it, but he passed it on to me. And I'm going to tell you what this is all about. You know, this is a little bit of a, something that you guys are really, really going to like. There's a little chili pepper here, OK? And some uh, faithful olive oil, OK? And we have some oregano. This is uh, Italian oregano. You can also use uh, Greek oregano. They've got really, really nice oregano too, OK? And then we have some balsamic vinegar, which uh, it's only made in Modena. And I figured, well, I figured out why they only made, make uh, balsamic vinegar in Modena. They got all these bad grapes, and they don't know what to do with. No, that's not the reason. They got the best grapes in the world. They just got the nice technology. How do they do it? God knows how but we all enjoy it all over the world. You can buy balsamic vinegar for a dollar a liter or $600, I don't know, I'm exaggerating. But we have salt. We can use a little bit of pepper. And this is the garlic I was mentioning. I'm going to stop a little bit for the garlic, OK? This is a very new thing. A lot of, some people have seen it, some people haven't. All it is is but it's a, any type of vinegar, wine vinegar, OK, or balsamic vinegar, or you can mix it half and a half, OK? Uh, they say in New York, half and a half, OK? And uh, you put it inside the vinegar. And when it turns this color here, that's ready to be eaten. And you can eat five, six, even with a steak. But mix it with your cheese. Chew it with your bread. It's something else, my friends. Friends of salt and pepper, if I tell you something, you just have, sometimes you have to take it as hard, at heart, as they say. But here we have already the saturated one, but we want to prepare some, I'm showing you two things at once today. Today is this, on this one is a bonus, my friends. With the saturated one, we, we know that we're going to need some more in a couple of weeks. And this one in a couple of weeks is going to be cured. And once you put it in vinegar, it's going to stay forever, okay? And the flavor, I cannot describe it. You just have to try it for yourselves. So we put it in. We can put in as much as we want. And then we search for the ones that turn green. And we leave the ones that uh, are still not ripe. We leave them in there if we want to call them ripe. OK. And this is just another little bonus from salt and pepper at home with Atelier. You see the difference in them? Let's put the rest of them. Let's, let's splurge. Let's splurge. Let's go all the way. My friends, whatever in the world, oh, there's, a, there's an egg running. Look at that egg run. <laughs> let's splurge. Let's go. Let's go crazy on this one, OK? Let's put all the garlic we want. And oh, I'm putting my fingers in there. My hands are clean. Don't worry about it. I washed it earlier. I always do. OK, now, fast recipe. As I said, I hope I mentioned everything. Yes, I know I did. And we have the chilies, and we have this, and we have that. But this one, I have to show you what I did. These are roasted peppers. And these are exactly the same thing that I showed you here, the same, the, the same thing that I showed here, but they've been roasted. And the skin becomes burnt. So I'm going to show you exactly the way they're going to look. 
and uh, I want you to follow me to the stove and uh, we'll, I'll show you exactly the way this is going to be. The peppers, uh, of course, it does, uh, you know, as it's an obvious thing, they're going to look burned, right? And we put one here and we get this other baby here and we put it here and we just let it roast. I'm just going to show you exactly the way they're going to turn out. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a little bit until these guys, they get roasted, and then we're gonna scrape them off, we're gonna clean them, and they're gonna start looking exactly like these guys here, but as I say, I wanna take the time to show you how they get this way, and I'll get back to you as soon as these guys are roasted, all right? And now these guys that uh, are roasted, if you wanna take a look down here, see? Just put them on the plate, they're gonna be really hot. I'm just holding it with these two here for them not to burn my finger. Okay? And I'll show you friend from salt and pepper how to cook this guy. So they're gonna be exactly the, like this baby here. It's a little, you know, look at this. See? Can you see that? See? The skin falls off. Now you can just wipe it off like this, use a little bit of paper, just to give you an idea. Just to give you see. And it's starting to look like this one, which is a bit cold, it's very hard to, to hold. This one is the red one, same thing. See, you have to be a little bit careful because it's, it's a hot one. Oh, quando caliente il sol, <laughs> quando caliente il sol. And this, see, that's the way it looks. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play with this one anymore because I've already played with the other guys. I'm gonna this one aside because as I said this is how they're gonna look just follow me I'm gonna go wash my hands right here and uh, then I'm gonna show you a little trick So 
I show you how simply you do that. You're just going to put everything inside this little plate here, and then we'll just charge this thing here already. It looks good. I mean, you could already serve it like this, okay? I just wash my hands here. Look at that. If you want like this, you don't have to do a mixture. You don't have to complete uh, with them by, by some. Nobody can say anything. You're the boss. Look, look at those corners. Even though, see, you try and put them like this so they go to the margins of the plate. You're the boss of your own kitchen. Got to put them in on this side. My friends, this is a delicacy. You, your, your guests will be doing them like this one one day once they try this one. And as I say, with the rest of your hors d'oeuvres, this is a this is appealing. You can keep this for about a week in the fridge. I mean, don't put it in jars. If you put it in jars uh, out of uh, water, you can keep it for even longer. Right? Now, why did I have one side balsamic vinegar and once uh, and a little bit of, uh, of uh, lime? There's a reason. Because part of this can be This one's for very little, for nothing. Other parts of the world, maybe in Hong Kong, it's 50 cents. If 